Well, with more than 150 versions produced across the globe, The Voice is, without a doubt, the world's biggest singing competition and it's coming back to 7 and 7 Plus later this year. You betcha, superstar coach Guy Sebastian will return for the season 13 of The Voice Australia. But there are three new faces set to spin those iconic red chairs. Here we go. Voice Australia has already uncovered 12 amazing winners and in 2024 the search will be on to find another singing superstar. With these superstar coaches guiding the next batch of aspiring artists, excitement is building for the upcoming season. Grammy Award winner Leanne Rimes is ready to take on her coaching duties down under. And Adam Lambert will combine music and fashion. Ready to sink her teeth into reality television is vocal powerhouse Kate Miller Heidke. And the legendary Guy Sebastian returns, bringing heart and soul to The Voice. Guess what? what? Mama, I chose good. Just confirming, none of the guys like their hairstyles in the old clips. Yeah. Just confirming. <laughs> Here they are, guys, Sebastian, Cade miller Heike, Adam Lambert and Leanne Rimes. Welcome, guys. Hi. Lovely to see you all. <laughs> Welcome to the couch. A guy coming back around for numbers the sixth time. Yeah, Does that yeah. give you an air, a bit of a leading edge? Oh, yeah. It's 100%. Mm. Hugely. I, you know, I know all the tricks and I've not passed any of them on. I'm using it to my full advantage. No, I, I, I don't know. I feel like it can hurt you. People are like, oh, yeah, we've seen him before. Like, oh, these new coaches. <laughs> <laughs> no, they've been amazing, though. It's been a, a good synergy. Oh, I think. fantastic. Leanne, you're a, a, a coach on The Voice Australia and mm. the UK. What are you most excited about with The Voice Australia? There's been some incredible talents, like, truly. And I've enjoyed mentoring. Like, it's, it's really been fun over here so and I've loved working with these guys like it, like Guy was saying it's been pretty seamless so yeah, yeah. hey Adam American Idol really helped launch your career of course. yeah so uh, does that bring something else to the coaching chair then Are you, you you must really feel for these guys I do I remember what it feels like to be up there and to be trying to make really important choices that will stick with you for the rest of your yeah. legacy if, right. if things go well you know so I mean if I hadn't have picked Bohemian Rhapsody as my audition song for American Idol I don't know if I would have ended up touring with Queen for 10 years. So things, you know, these little wow. choices we make can really yeah, yeah. make a difference. Mm. Wow, that really feels like it's putting pressure on those contestants. <laughs> yeah. right, Kate, this is your first time in the chair. Do you sort of predetermine what your coaching style is going to be or do you just wing it once, once it's sort of underway? Uh, I think I just wing it. I think it kind of comes naturally. As a singer, you have a lot of empathy. Um, for whoever you're working with and you just have to try to deeply understand you know what what their issues are what their strengths are and try not to sort of undermine their confidence in any way but just help them I've had a lot of different singing teachers in my life some good some bad so I feel like I have a lot of experience <laughs> and your voice is very unique anyway right so you had a lot of cut through mm. in the early days yeah, to, I'm saying that in a nice way. Oh, thanks. Thank you. Like, <laughs> you, like, you want to stab me in the throat? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, where are you going with this? No, I'm saying it in a lovely way. Uh, Guy, what happens to make that chair spin? Sometimes you just do it straight away. Other times you sort of get off and go up to the toilet and come back. Yeah. What, what, what is it? What happens in those first few seconds where you go, I'm around? Well, you know, sometimes you just turn around because you're impressed, you know? And, 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 then, and then you realise, like, oh... I don't just want to be impressed. You know, so much goes through your head where you mm -hmm. go, okay, I know they've got a lot of facility, like they can do a lot with the voice that they've been given. It's in tune, all the technical things are being ticked. Right. But then when you turn around, you're either like really sort of surprised even more and, and, and the whole, you know, your whole thing actually increases, or it actually is dulled a bit because you, you suddenly turn around and you can tell they don't really mean what they're saying. Or so it's it's a bit of a gamble when you. So hit do you that do you wish there was a reverse spin yes. button? <laughs> 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 Never mind. Yeah. 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 It's almost like you go, okay, the voice is great, and now's where the mentoring kicks in. Yeah, it's yeah, like right. you've got to actually try and figure out why right, they're not right, connected. Right. So, yeah. Oh, gosh, it's um, honestly so nerve wracking sometimes to watch it. I mean, Leanne, you know, I mean, you've been in this business a long time. Yeah. You were 13 when yeah. you exploded onto the scene. 
I mean, what's some of that wisdom, or if there were like lessons you've learned, what do you want to pass on to, to those contestants? Oh, gosh. Um, yeah, I sometimes feel like if I could give them pieces of me, like, yeah. you know, that would, which I do try to do, um, you know, it's it's so individu individual because everybody's different and, you know, the, some people have different hang-ups. So a lot of times I feel like I'm doing therapy. It's more of a therapy <laughs> session yeah, than yeah. it is like a oh, any yeah. kind of vocal coaching. Um, so, yeah, it's it's really layered. And, mm. you know, this is my first time doing it. I've never mentored anyone before like this, and I really enjoy it. Um, I, get, I love getting to know these people as human beings and getting to see what makes them tick. And, like I said, it's so individualized, you know, that's um, you have to kind of you know, go in and, and tailor each thing to each person. Yeah. There's quite a lot of crying that goes on from what I can see yes, in your mentoring. Yes, there's a lot of crying in my mentoring. <laughs> I cry <Yeah>. everything. <laughs> um, we love tears. Yeah, yeah. Adam, your evolution as a performer has been uh, truly epic, from uh, paying tribute to Freddie Mercury, performing for the royal family, of mm. course. What helps you grow as a performer? What helps you, and what's the importance of continuing to change? Uh, yeah, I feel like as a creative, it's like you always find something new to be inspired by. Mm. I, and I love that I've gotten to do a lot of different styles in my career. I will continue to evolve, I hope. Uh, you know, I think I think it's important, you know, or else you get stagnant, you get bored. We get bored very yeah, easily. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I, I think for me, you know, being a, a coach on this show, it's, it's so exciting to help somebody potentially like kick the door open for the next phase of their journey. Mm. I think that is really exciting. Do you know uh, when Guy Sebastian just looked up and said, we get bored really easily, he was looking at me like, yeah, next question, yeah. you're going to be good last because we're there, right? Lunch locked up over here. Never from you, guys. No, 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 you, no, I'm not, I'm not okay, looking at it. I just wanted to quickly ask you, I mean, you just transcend so many different genres. So when, when someone picks Team Kate, I mean, what are you hoping to sort of give in terms of insight and how you can really just, you know, bend and mould to, to whatever, you know, musical experience there is? Yeah, I'm, I'm not too interested in, um, like, clearly delineated boundaries between genres. Mm -hmm. I think it's much more interesting when a singer ah. has a voice, a unique voice, and stuff genre. Who cares? Just sing what feels good for you, mm. as long as it's emotionally connected with a, with a great story. I think we're all kind of that way. Yeah. We just like to, we like to break the rules. I especially like to break the rules on this show, as you will say. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, as we always say here on the morning show, stuff genre. Yeah. It's yeah. 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 so good to see you guys. We're, we're so pumped for this series. We cannot wait. Lovely to Thank see you all. Thank, Thank you. Love you guys. guys. Thank you. And the new season of The Voice Australia premieres later this year on Channel 7 and 7 Plus. And if you'd like to be a part of the audience, just head to thevoice.com.au and keep a lookout for Kate's new show, Stuff Genre. <laughs> <laughs> It's going to be huge. It's going to be seven and seven plus coming up <laughs> after the cricket. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>